Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are continuing to recap some of those fundamental concepts, this time around with Turtle. So, we're getting some visual outputs and drawings instead of text. Now, we're going to uh, pick up from where we left off. Our last program uh, draws four sides and we specify the length and the angle between them. Um, this time around, we're going to initially put that in a for loop and be able to draw any polygon. And then we are going to look at drawing some interesting shapes whose sides tend to decrease until they get to zero. And that's going to use if statements and while loops. So let's get um, a quick recap on what this thing does. So if we go into the console and we say side length 120 and side angle or angle between sides 90, we're going to get a square. So let's make this more interesting. Instead of side angle, enter number of sides. So right now we can put this guy in a for loop for i in range 0, comma sides. And that's basically going to give us however many sides we want. We're going to go side length. But rather than the angle here, which which is a bit tricky, we should go 360 divided by sides because we're going to go back to where we sort of started. You want this guy to be pointing in the same direction at the start and the finish. So if I run this uh, and in the console I say side length 100 and then I say sides 5, not defined on line 6. Ah, because we should have called that sides. Run side length 100, number of sides 5. Result, we got ourselves a pentagon. It's going to work for any polygon. I mean, I guess I can go 110 and then sides 8. And we can create an octagon. And then this is going to work for any shape. So what's interesting with these for loops um, is that you can have them nested within each other and you can create interesting structures like that. I mean, so for example, if you copied that and you put that there, uh, and this time instead of left, we just went right. Check this out. Side length, 100, number of side 6. We would actually kind of draw a honeycomb pattern. Just one example. So I think that covers reasonably well um, for loops. Now let's use while loops. I think they're a bit more interesting. And what I'm going to want to do is to create polygons that kind of narrow in on each other. Um, I'm actually going to copy this code. We're going to put it outside in comments. So if you guys want to play around with this honeycomb pattern, you certainly can. But let's try to um, create a polygon which uses a while loop to do something interesting. So I'm just going to get that there. And this time around, I'm just going to say while. And we can, you can use an if statement. I'm just going to say while true, which is essentially a forever loop in Python. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shrink length by minus two every time this goes through. And if length is shrinking in this loop, then I can say if length is less than zero, um, break. That will exit the while loop. So right now, if I any polygon I create, so if I go, uh, I want a pentagon, uh, sorry, that'll be side length of 100, number of sides, five. Watch this out. Doo -doo -doo. It's not doing what I told it to. And I think that this length minus two here is just not cutting it. So if I guess I have to say 
length equals the length minus two. And let's try that again. Console 105 result. It should fold in on it. Yeah, that's it. It should fold in on itself. And essentially, this if statement is going to break us out of this forever loop. And you kind of have this wonderful polygon that goes on for a while. Now, with turtle, you can basically do things like turtle.speed and make that happen very quickly. And you can make, well, you can make interesting things happen here. You see how it says 360 um, divided by sides. If you take a little more left, turtle.left, I don't know, every line it can twist by one. Watch this. Uh, this time, 150. That makes a kind of cool shape. And honestly, there is an infinite number of shapes that you can make. So I'm actually just going to leave it here and I will allow you um, to play. What is going to be very interesting is when we use very similar code together with functions, at which point you can easily play uh, with a concept called recursion in such a way that you understand it reasonably well. So that's what I'm going to do in the next tutorial and see you guys then. Hi there, I'm Sanyin. I'm the guy that makes these videos and answers your comments. So yeah, feel free to drop me one. Um, this is a playlist that's getting updated a lot. So it'll be a whole course in a couple of weeks. So make sure to subscribe right there. Uh, the playlist can be accessed also by a playlist link, which I'll put there. And finally, pretty much all my Python videos are going to be in another playlist there. Okay, have fun. See you later.